What's going on, everybody? My name is JT, and you're tuned in to The People's Trader, your source for no-nonsense crypto fundamental analysis and technical analysis. If that's the sort of thing that tickles your fancy, why don't you hit the subscribe button? I do this every single day, except for the days that I don't. Jumping right into Cointelegraph, major crypto firm expects Polkadot, DOT, to become a top three blockchain. Polkadot prices increased by 200% in less than eight days, and top crypto analysts believe that the blockchain has a lot more to give. Spartan Black, a major cryptocurrency fund based in Asia, believes that DOT has more fuel left in the tank and could soar into the top three list of biggest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. Currently, the popular protocol is listed as the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap at CoinGecko. Since listing on Binance eight days ago, the price of DOT soared more than 200% and many analysts believe the price could rise significantly higher. There are several favorable factors buoying the sentiment around DOT. The protocol does not directly compete against the Ethereum network, it scales rapidly and as a result could offset the issue of high fees on Ethereum. Polkadot's market cap is at 5.6 billion, so what will fuel further growth. DOT has seen meteoric growth in recent weeks in terms of both valuation and projects. Data from Polka projects shows that there are 197 projects on the Polkadot ecosystem already. Apart from having strong technologies, Polkadot has arguably one of the most decorated developers within the smart contract space. Gavin Wood created Polkadot in 2016 and is a key figure behind the development of a Solidity programming language and parity technologies. Wood also played a key role in the growth of Ethereum's network over the past four years. The combination of an active community, a growing number of projects in the ecosystem, and Wood's involvement appear to be driving the demand for DOT. Spartan Black's Kevin Co predicted in mid-August that DOT would have hit $5 based on the market capitalization of Cardano. Within weeks of the prediction, DOT surpassed $5, rising as high as $6.57. Okay, so people are freaking out over DOT. Um, you know, it's the Ethereum killer, or, you know, I've, I've heard that, although it sounds as though they work um, together. Um, so let's just uh, take a look at the chart. Wow. That's, uh, that's, an, uh, that's a pretty impressive chart. Well, um, if we dive a little bit deeper into the analysis here, you can see we have a low, then we have a high, and then we have a low, and that's it. Guys, I can't analyze this. Um, there are going to be amazing projects enter the space, and you know, as far as my subscribers on this channel, um, this is an analyst channel, so if, if I don't have a chart to analyze, I'm not making a trade. You have to realize that this space is so new. It's so new. The entire cryptocurrency market cap is $300 billion. That is peanuts. There is nowhere but up for this space. Um, you just have to be patient and invest in projects that have been around. Um, invest in projects that are adding value. I'm sure Polkadot will add a lot of value, but you know, right now it's all speculation and I don't like to speculate. I don't like to make large trades. You know, if you want to invest in Polkadot, go right ahead. But, um, you know, it's, you need to realize that it's a gamble. So when something is this new, when you put money into something this new, you're, you have to realize that there is a high probability that you will never see that money again, period. I mean, sure, I'm, I'm making the comparison with Yam here, but you know, people threw thousands of dollars into this Yam token and they lost all of their money. I'm sure that the developers at DOT are competent individuals, but even Ethereum had vulnerabilities in the protocol back in the day. That's why they forked the blockchain and that's why we have Ethereum Classic. Shit happens, okay? If you want a safe investment in this space, the safest investment you can make is Bitcoin. And I know that that's not sexy, but it's true. It's been around for 11 years. It's probably gonna be around for another 11 years. Polkadot is what? How many freaking? Like, Let's look at the candles here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days old at the time of recording this video. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in an uptrend. It's technically in an uptrend, but uh, it's certainly nothing that I'm looking to invest in. Something that I am looking to invest in that you might want to take a look at is Harmony. Harmony is, from a macro perspective, if we look at the daily, it showed a sign of strength, it exited its Wyckoff accumulation box, and it came back in to what is referred to as the backup phase. Um, once you get into the backup phase, you can zoom in a little bit and you can, this is showing up quite a bit where you get a re-accumulation phase. So what we're looking for here on Harmony is we're looking for a break of this resistance line and then a mini sign of strength and a consolidation above. If we can hold this resistance line as support, we're gonna be off to the races. Um, this is a strategy that my group is studying quite extensively. I highly recommend that you learn Wyckoff. It is a very different strategy. It's very interpretive. It's very fluid. It can be looked at many different ways and it is simple. It is very simple. It is based on the fundamentals of supply and demand and it allows you to look at the characteristics of an asset and what is holding it up, what support, how strong is the support, how strong is the resistance, and where is the supply held. Is it held in strong hands or is it held in weak hands? Because strong hands make the price go up, weak hands make the price fall. If you're looking at getting into Polkadot right now and you've been in the space for less than a couple months or if you were not here in the 2017 run up, the 2017 bull market, um, and you're investing now and you're looking at Polkadot, you need to ask yourself, what kind of an investor are you in? What, do you, what category do you fall under? I'm gonna go ahead and make the judgment <laughs> that you are an amateur investor because this space is filled with them. Amateur investors cannot handle downside. When you can't handle downside, you are what's considered a weak hand. You are going to be the reason for a glut in the supply. When there's a glut in supply, the price falls. I think that Polkadot is overhyped. I think, I mean, just reading that news article, it was nothing but like, buy Polkadot, buy Polkadot. Oh my God, you're running out of time. FOMO, you were, you were scared of missing this opportunity. When you FOMO in this market, you get burned. There are lessons that you need to learn as a trader. You need to lose money. You need to gain money. You need to make a fortune and then lose that fortune. That is how the millionaires are made. If you haven't felt the burn yet, just prepare because it's part of the process. And if you're going hard on Polkadot, then I, I honestly, I truly wish you the best. I really, truly do. I wish that, I wish to you that this is the bottom and that there's nothing but upside. I truly 100% wish that that is the case. But in my experience, more often than not, it's not. You know, I've been there. I've been that person. I've been the one who got wrapped up in the hype. I've been the one that got so obsessed with the projects and how they're going to change the world. And at the end of the day, you have to realize what it is that you're in. And this is, let me give you an analogy. It's, uh, you know, when a new company starts, they, they need capital. They find it in venture capital space, you know, through angel investors or through Kickstarter um, patrons or whatever. And then one day they get to go to the stock market as a publicly traded company. Now, in the crypto space, if you are a Kickstarter company, you just need to print some ERC-20 tokens and people are gonna buy them. That's the difference. That's the insanity that is crypto. You can be a Kickstarter company and you can immediately be publicly traded. That concept alone is freaking insane. It is crazy. So when things are crazy, you gotta be careful. Everybody doesn't become a millionaire and not everybody goes broke. This is a tool to transfer dollars from those who are prepared to those who are not. So protect yourself, invest. If you would like to fast track your education, I really hope that you will join me in my Telegram group. Please email me at the People's Trader 
We are a dedicated community of traders who are trying to educate strategy as well as technical analysis. If you spend enough time reading charts, you're going to get good at reading charts, but it's what you do with that information that truly sets you apart from those who are successful traders to those who are failing, failing traders, those who are traders that lose money. And strategy is probably the biggest component of that. So anyways, I've rambled on far too long about this. So that's all the time I got for today. If you enjoyed the content or found any value in anything that I've said today, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace.